Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Talk video. Today is a very exciting day because we have a, a new sneak peek called Farrah's Crafting Workshop. And as you can tell by the uh, thumbnail, that's the word, uh, there is an owl. We are finally getting owls in game, which is very exciting. Uh, this is quite an interesting update because we are going to be making our own clothes and t I believe it's tack as well. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, let's go down and read the, the description before we get started. All right. There is a young woman from Jorvik City who, along with her trusty sidekick Toby the Owl, is setting up shop in Valedale. Maintaining a workshop dedicated to showcasing traditional Dwarvic craftsmanship was Farrah's dream. Now that that dream has come true, the young druid has taken it upon herself to keep the knowledge of the elder artisans alive, never allowing their ancient memories to fade. Carrying the torch of one, one's elders is a heavy burden, taking, on, taking an apprentice under her wing may help lighten the load if you're ready for it. So, we're gonna pretty much, what they're basically saying is they're gonna, she's gonna need help to make clothes and make tack and keep this um, artistry alive, which I think is really cool because if you think about it, we really haven't had, well, no, we've had updates like this, but not to this extent, I would say. But we're going to get into the video and I'm going to kind of break it down. I can't really compare it to like I do my horse videos. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about the owl, of course. Because one of my dream updates has been owls. And they keep throwing out my dream updates every single time. First, it was the Irish cops. Then it was uh, our own western area. Um, what else? Uh, upgraded Western Tech and now Owls. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, also Pandorian Manta Rays that we can own. So we are going to get started. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go through the video, turn off the sound here, and kind of point things out. So here we have Farah. Here we have the owl, which he is just so cute. I love him. I've been waiting for like owl pets forever, and now it's happening, and it's just, ah, I'm so excited. I, I wish I had words, but I, I'm just excited. All right, let's Okay, so hang on, went a little bit too fast. Now, I don't know why. Um, but when I first saw it, it looked like the walk, walk on us was different. I don't think it is. Um, but it's just the way I saw it first. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Who knows? Um, but this archway is gorgeous. Um, hopefully this is like... The, I think it's the beginning of them stuff. Well, technically, no. Um, the Druid Paddock was them starting to edit Veildale, and this is the second part. I don't know if it's going to be done in parts or what, but so far, I love how it's turning out. Oh, this goes so fast, I can't keep up. Alright, so we have the workbenches here. And what I'm noticing, I know a new Hackamore, a new saddle, which is black and purple, which I approve of. Purple, yes. Um, one of my favorite colors in game. Uh, also another, like, I want to say it's brown and white western saddle. Um, as well as these saddlebags. The saddlebags look great. It goes so fast. Good gracious. Okay, so we have 
uh, one shirt here and we have another shirt here. Um, some shoes, um, dried out plants, more shoes, uh, ribbons. I I'm assuming maybe that's going to be for, um, what is it? I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, leg wraps. That's it. Maybe. Uh, and I did notice that there's also a hackamore with a blue, uh, band, which is very nice. Alright, so, collecting ingredients all over Jorvik. Now, I personally love going around Jorvik and just, but, like, these type of, like, quests or, like, daily activities I love, because I love to explore Jorvik, um, and sometimes you, uh, find things that you haven't found recently before, because Star Stable has been known to add things and not tell us, and that's kind of, like, the fun of it. And I like to go around, uh, especially when we have these type of quests. And sometimes I do, uh, and other players find things that, hey, that hasn't been here before. They've updated this. They updated that. So, keep going. They're finding different plants. Going to learn crafting, me crafting methods. Okay, this is where it gets exciting. I think we are actually getting owl pets because it says making new friends. Um, I, I'm very excited. I wonder if there'll be different uh, color variations. If not now, in the future, I'm sure there will be. And it does the dive. Just really nice to look at. So, as for the owl, I tried to figure out what owl it is. Oh, come on. Goes so fast, I can't keep up. Uh, I've tried to figure out which uh, one it is. And so far to me, it looks like the Great Horned Owl. There's obviously tons of different owls that exist and different types. But to me, at least and from what the research I did, it looks like it's modeled after the Great Horned Owl. Which is awesome. I, I, I don't care. I just want owls. Regardless, um, but that's kind of it. There's never really more to say. I'm very excited for this update. I hope you guys are too. Um, obviously, I, the, I'm just excited for the fact that we could probably have an owl pet. And th that's like the biggest exciting thing. And obviously, I love the colors that I saw in um, the video. Uh, with the tack, let me just... Like, I like the pink, I like the blue, uh, not pink, wow, uh, purple, and uh, the light blue. Those are really nice colors. I, I, I really like where this is going. Um, it looks like it's going to be fun. I hope, I, I just kind of hope it's not going to be like a constant thing, kind of like, well, I do and I don't. Um, like druid training, where you just have to go back every single day. Maybe you can do this in one day, um, but I don't think so. I want to say I'm going to probably film this like I do soul writing videos. Um, how well that's going to go, I have no idea. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have to say. I'm very excited for this update. This update looks awesome. Uh, I love having more things to do in-game, and this is one of those things that uh, we get to do. And yes, Star Stable did say that this is a permanent feature. So it doesn't matter what level you are, you will get there eventually as long as you keep up with, uh, with your quests and your dailies and whatnot. But as always, you guys, remember to keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!